السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي يقول الله تعالى وعاشروهن بالمعروف وقال صلى الله عليه وسلم خيركم خيركم لأهلي وأنا خيركم لأهلي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, commanding us, he says, and live with them, meaning your spouses, goodly. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, that the best amongst you are those who are best to his family. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if you were to look through his life, we find that he gave us indeed the best example to our families or the best example a person can be to his family and tonight inshallah ta'ala i would like to share one of the things the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to be keen to do with his family and that is to spend time with his family as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam we know he was the prophet the messenger the leader the governor he was everything and he had nine wives that he passed away leaving behind. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the midst of his busy day and the midst of his schedule and everything that he is doing, every morning after Fajr, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to make sure he visit each one of his wives and he will make dua for them and so on. And after Asr also, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he used to pass on all of his wives and he will have an intimate time with them. And also in the night, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before he pray, he will be speaking and gaffing and chatting with his wives and then he will ask them for their excuse so that he can spend some time with his Lord. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, from his guidance and his teachings is for us to spend time with our family and from among those examples also is the great hadith of Aisha radiallahu anha known as the hadith of Um Dhar and we should all go and check this hadith just type in the hadith of Um Dhar and see this hadith where Aisha radiallahu anha she was, sat, she was sitting with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and then she started to narrate the hadith or the story of 11 women. They all sat together and they all say that they are not going to hide anything from their husbands. And Aisha radiallahu anha, she started to narrate the hadith of each one of these 11 women, one after the other after the other. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he was there, he was sitting, and he was listening, and he was entertaining her. He didn't say, he didn't have time, he didn't have time for this. He didn't ask her what is the authenticity of the story. He didn't ask her any of that, because those are the things that bring love and harmony, and those are the things that are needed in the marriage relationship, and especially among the family. Many people, they focus on the wealth, bringing home gifts and so, but if you were to ask the vast majority of women, you will find that they are crying out because their husband or their spouse is not finding time with them, is not spending time with them. So I would like to remind myself firstly and my brothers and my sister, let remember, let us remember this great guidance of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to spend time with our family and to chat with them and to speak with them. Hada wa sallallahu ala nabiyina Muhammad wa sallam wa alaykum wa rahmatullah.